Megyn Kelly revealed what really happened behind the scenes when Chris Christie complained to her during a News Nation GOP debate commercial break. All over the internet last night was a video that went viral of somebody in the balcony filming Chris Christie coming over to yours truly during a break at the end of the first hour and kind of getting up in my grill, and there was all sorts of speculation about what was happening there. I will tell you what was happening there. It was not off the record. He was pissed off. He was mad that he wasn't getting enough questions, and he said, I made it up at this stage and I haven't been able to speak in a while and, you know, I should have been brought in on that last debate, the TV star, 53, said on her podcast, The Megyn Kelly Show. I said that we are coming to you. You're gonna be happy in the second hour, which I lived up to. But number one, he was right that in the last run, he had been excluded, and the reason that happened is because we let them fight in the first 40 minutes of the debate, and therefore that comes at the expense of something, and where you insert yourself, Chris Christie, on this earlier fight, or it's all at the expense of something else that's coming. Which is fine, we were not wedded to our rundown, we had like 40 questions going out there. Our goal was to ask 10 of them, you know, in a perfect world, but the producers in the truck have to rejigger the rundown, she explained. Kelly, who was one of the moderators at the debate on Wednesday, December 6, said the distribution of questions got mucked up because the other Republican candidates, Nikki Haley, Ron DeSantis and Vivek Ramaswamy, were all arguing. Having said all that, I knew very well that Christie was going to get asked a Trump question having to do with immigration at the top of the next hour, so it was totally fair to him, and he's polling at 2%. In no debate ever, and I've now done six of them, have we given as many questions to the guy who's at 3% as to the person who's in the lead, at least amongst the candidates on the stage, she shared of why Christie might not have been front and center. I'm sorry, Governor Christie. That's the way it is. And all said and done, CNN says this is the timing of the stage, Vivek got 22 minutes, DeSantis 21, Haley 17, Christie 16 and 52 seconds. So he was a half a minute behind Haley, who's tied up there for number one, she continued. Kelly made it clear that Christie, 61, was not mistreated in any way. So I don't want to hear it frankly. We did right by him, he got a ton of airtime. That's what he was mad about. I like the guy, but just to break some news on what people speculating on, she concluded.